In the graph, this is y axis. This is x axis. Flow is plotted with the x axis. Head is plotted with the y axis. Discharge head. The highest point in the y axis is called shut off pressure. It means where there is no flow, this is the highest head available. Now the point B on x axis is the highest flow from the pump where there is no head. From point A to B head will be reduced with an increase of in the flow rate. This is all about head versus flow curve. Efficiency curve. From the curve we can see that pump efficiency will increase and reach a maximum point then decrease with the increasing flow rate. This point is known as BEP, best efficiency point. Ideally you should run the pump within 10% range from the BEP to avoid damage to the pump impeller and seal. Power curve. We can also see that with the in-head and flow rate power consumption will increase. Pump has to do more work it needs more power. NPSH Net positive suction head NPSH at pump suction is necessary to prevent cavitation in the pump. NPSH requirement will increase with a higher flow rate. This is like more liquid with a higher head has to enter the pump when you push more liquid out. So, this is our head curve. This is our efficiency curve. This is our power curve. And this is our NPSH curve. Remembered our pump has constant speed with fixed diameter impeller.